this is the beginning of part two of the video introducing Xmod Pro and how to create database listings and forms. Now, we are going to use Xmod to connect to this table, to be able to present the data and to allow people to search, to enter new students and all of that. So from here, let's go back to our page called students and let's get things started here. So let's go to the action menu and let's go to the control panel. First thing that we're gonna do here is we will create a form that will be an auto-generated form based on our table. So from here, let's go to manage forms and we will be creating a new form using the form builder. Form builder is an automated way of creating forms so you can get up to speed quite quickly by using the form builder. So let's just click on new form. I will put the form name. I'll give it a, just a reference name here. I'll call it FRM students. The data source, this is where the database, the, this, this table is located in which database. Now, we are gonna we are using the the same database that .tattook installed right now. So we're gonna select .tattook database. Then uh, drop down of tables will come up. And because I have created already the students table, the students table should be in this list here. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way down to the S. So here it is students. This is the table that I have created. And key field, I will have to select what is the primary key of that table. In our case here, student ID will be the primary key. Then this button comes up, which is called auto create form. I'm just gonna click on it. And again, based on the fields that I have selected, sorry, that I have, that I have created in the table, it presents me with a, with a simple form that has all the fields and it's pretty much ready to go. So this is the form view. Now, again, the first walkthrough, the, this, this first introduction tracks mod, I'm not gonna go in depth with each and every feature. No, I'm just gonna go through it quickly to have, to see it from start to end. Then we're gonna start to get deep, to go deeper and deeper into the nitty gritty features of the module. So here's the form, form is done. Not gonna do anything else at this point. I could do, but I will not be doing. I'll just create it as is. I'm just hit. I'm just gonna hit create form. So the form is created. I can quickly preview the form here by clicking this uh, preview icon. So again, very simple form. Now I'm going to click on return. So this is a form that the information, the data, will be entered from. Now we have to create the 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 list view of this form how the the way it will be presented the list of students will be presented so again this is the entry point this is the entry form let's create the view form the the list for the list view so let's go to manage templates and from here i'm going to add a new template now i can specify which type of template i want to create again going very simple and very straightforward let's just select grid generate template from table. Here, again, very similar to what we have done before, we have to select the data source, which is .netlook database, and we have to select the table, which is the students table. Let's scroll all the way down. Again, this is showing me all tables within the website uh, database. Now let's go to the S of students and the unique field will be student ID. Let's click new template. Now I'm just going to briefly mention a couple of areas, couple of different tags that are available in this template. Um, as you can see here at the top, here at the top, it shows this simple statement that will be called to do the entire listing. And then there's another one that will do the details, the details view. For instance, you see uh, one student name and then you click on it and then it goes to a detail view. This is the detail SQL there. Now, again, here 
we have the header template, which is what will show up at, in the top part of the of, of the listing, which is the the header of the tables, you know, student ID, student name, address, all the different fields. So this is the header template, and then we have an item template, which is actually where the the, the actual data will be displayed. So we have we have the different fields here. We also have uh, a a comment that says uh, view details, edit, delete. And then we have also a footer template, which is basically closing the table that was started in the, in the header area. Now, there is also here a detail view template, which uh, will allow someone to click in one student, and then uh, we're going to see the details of that student. Now, again, I'm not going to change anything at this point. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm just going to save this. Of course, I'm I'm missing the, t the the template name at the top. Okay, so let's put it there. Let's call it TMP students, and let's just save this by clicking the save button. Perfect. So we have uh, template students as well. So now we have the main two elements. We have the form to enter data, and we have the the, the list view, the template uh, list view to see the data. Now from here let's let's just go to the main page and nothing is showing up yet. We, this is because we have not configured this module instance yet. So let's go to the action menu again. Let's go to configure this. Now we have basically two fields that we need to fill up. We have template and we have form, which were the two elements that we have just created. Template, we're going to select the uh, template students and form will be the form students. Now, from here, I'm just going to click close. In my view, it's showing now that I can click on new record and I'm assuming that the form, the, the student form will come up and it's showing that this is the form name, this is the template name. I'm going to I'm going to actually I'm going to flip uh, to another uh, browser to see how this is looking like from an end user point of view. Let's go here to Windows X or to Internet Explorer. I'm just going to refresh this page and I'm going to click on students. So it's this message again. Don't worry about that. This is just because I'm under development here. Nothing is showing up because I'm not logged in, so I don't have access to enter students, and there are no students yet entered. So let's go back to our admin view, let's click new record, and let's add some information here. So I'm just going to add Ederson Oliveira, let's get some address here for the street, city Ajax, and postal code. And phone number. Let's just click on add. So now in my admin view, I can see a, a kind of a raw, very rudimentary grid here, which shows the the column names, and it shows me a view details, an edit option, and a delete option. And I can see the 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 student information right here. Now, if I flick, if I flip back to Internet Explorer, which where I'm not logged in, if I refresh this page, now again I can see the student information and I can view the details as well. At this point, if I click details, this the same information will come up. So it doesn't matter if you are in the list view or detail view, you can see the same thing because again we have built we have built the template using the the template, uh, the automated uh, template creation. Now, we're going to be able to dig a little bit deeper, and we're going to start to customize some elements of, of, of those forms, of the form and the template as well. This is the end of part two of the video introducing XMOD Pro and how to create database listings and forms.